Hello everyone, welcome back to Conflict Skies and Steel, where the world's most secret weapons and hidden alliances are exposed layer by layer. Today's story begins with a whisper out of Tehran, one that's now echoing through the halls of intelligence agencies worldwide. A system that was once dismissed as a crude imitation is now being called a silent replacement for one of the world's most powerful air defense networks. The Iranian Bavar 373 has stepped out of the shadows, and what's happening behind those radars might change the balance of air power forever. It started with a quiet demonstration in an open desert near Semnan. No fireworks, no global fanfare, just a missile streaking into the sky and vanishing into thin air. But that test was a statement. The Bavar 373 was no longer a prototype. It was an operational system, fully deployed and fully indigenous. What made analysts sit upright wasn't just its range or its radar, it was the realization that Iran, long trapped under sanctions, had independently built a network that could rival Russia's prized S-400. This wasn't a fluke of engineering, it was a symbol of defiance and determination, crafted from necessity. From the outside, the system appears almost unassuming. The massive 1010 Zoljana truck carries its missile canisters with an intimidating posture, its angular camouflage melting into the desert background. The external form is deceptively simple, yet every bolt and panel hides years of clandestine innovation. Unlike the Russian S-400's polished export models, Iran's Bavar 373 is built for rugged survival. It can operate in extreme heat, sandstorms, and electromagnetic interference. Its weatherproof launchers are designed to stay hidden for months, moving across rough terrain without detection. Iranian engineers focused on endurance and adaptability over showmanship, creating a machine born for asymmetrical warfare. Inside the control cabin, the heart of the Bavar 373 beats with quiet precision. The interior is minimalist, tightly packed with screens, radar consoles, and control terminals that fuse Russian design principles with Iranian improvisation. It's not flashy, but it's brutally effective. Operators sit in silence behind touch-sensitive panels coded with Persian language software, while artificial intelligence algorithms calculate threat vectors faster than any human could. The data links between launchers and radar are protected by multi-layer encryption using domestically developed chips to prevent cyber interference. The software's autonomy is its true power. It can continue locking on targets even if communication with central command is severed. That single feature terrifies adversaries, because unlike older systems that crumble when jammed, the Bavar 373 can hunt and destroy stealth aircraft completely on its own. Its phased array radar, known as Mirage 4, sweeps the skies with electronic pulses that adapt frequency in real time, a defensive dance that frustrates Western jammers. And when a target is identified, it doesn't wait for permission, it engages. What's shocking is the missile's performance envelope. The Sayad 4B, Iran's latest interceptor, can hit targets at 300 kilometers, and ongoing tests hint at ranges stretching beyond 400 kilometers. Its ceiling touches nearly 30 kilometers, putting it in the same class as the S-400's 40N6 missile. But Iran didn't stop at matching numbers. It rewrote the engagement logic. Instead of using heavy reliance on centralized fire control, each Bavar unit functions semi-independently, forming what analysts call a distributed kill web. If one radar is destroyed, the others take over instantly, ensuring no gap in coverage. The system's radar can track over 100 targets simultaneously and engage multiple aircraft, drones, or cruise missiles in overlapping salvos. What makes the Bavar 373 terrifying for stealth aircraft like the F-35 or F-22 isn't just its range. It's the type of radar it uses. The Mirage 4 is a high-powered S-band phased array paired with a secondary X-band fire control radar. This combination lets it detect stealth targets that are invisible to conventional systems. American analysts once believed only Russia and China had this capability. Now, Iran's inclusion in that elite club is reshaping how air dominance is calculated in the Middle East. Every missile fired by the Bavar 
carries its own seeker and guidance computer capable of homing in on targets without continuous radar illumination. This autonomy allows the launcher to shoot and relocate in under five minutes. By the time an anti-radiation missile homes in on the radar, the system has already moved kilometers away, hidden under electronic camouflage. This mobile survivability gives Iran an edge that traditional stationary defense systems can't match. But beyond the raw performance, the Bavar 373's true genius lies in its independence. Every circuit board, processor, and radar transmitter is built locally in Iran. The engineers replaced imported microelectronics with domestic production, making the system immune to foreign sabotage or sanctions. The West can't cut off supply chains that don't exist. This self-sufficiency gives Iran something the S-400 never had, complete technological sovereignty. When you look deeper into its operational doctrine, the Bavar is more than just a defensive shield. It's a deterrent strategy in motion. Iran has deployed these batteries in overlapping zones across the country, near nuclear facilities, air bases, and coastlines facing the Persian Gulf. Together with systems like Kordad-15 and Talash, the Bavar forms a multi-layered barrier that can intercept threats at every altitude. The result is an invisible dome stretching from the Zagros Mountains to the Strait of Hormuz, a dome that even the most advanced Western aircraft now fear to penetrate. This transformation didn't happen overnight. It took years of isolation, reverse engineering, and quiet trial and error. After being denied advanced Russian systems during sanctions, Iran realized that waiting was no longer an option. The Bavar project began as a dream of independence, but it has become a symbol of national resilience. Even its name, Bavar, means faith in Persian, a fitting description for a weapon born from conviction rather than convenience. Reports suggest that Iran's Aerospace Industries Organization has already begun exporting components of the system to select allies. Syria, Venezuela, and even North African nations have expressed interest. At roughly half the cost of the S-400, the Bavar 373 offers an enticing option. Advanced defense with no political strings attached. Unlike Russian or Western systems that come with restrictions, Iran's package includes full sovereignty. Clients can use, modify, and deploy without interference. That's a game changer in the global arms market. The system's safety and resilience features make it particularly effective in high threat zones. The radar emitters can switch frequencies in milliseconds, making them nearly impossible to target by anti-radiation weapons. The launchers deploy decoy transmitters to mislead enemy detection and each unit carries optical sensors for passive tracking when radar silence is needed. The Bavar can hide its signature so effectively that Western reconnaissance satellites sometimes mistake inactive batteries for civilian transport trucks. When active, the electromagnetic emission pattern is spread across frequencies, blending into the background noise of Iran's radar environment. Iran's Air Defense Command now trains crews using simulated combat data fed from AI-driven programs that mimic real-time electronic warfare. This creates a defense force capable of fighting in total isolation, without GPS, without satellites, and without external intelligence. Every exercise adds more adaptive code to the system's algorithm, making it smarter with each deployment. The Bavar is evolving like living. Software, an intelligent, reactive defense organism. The geopolitical implications are enormous. The S-400 once symbolized Russia's monopoly on long-range defense. Countries from India to Turkey queued up to buy it. But now, with the Bavar 373 entering the scene, the monopoly is broken. Iran is offering a comparable system at half the price, without dependency or fear of sanctions. For nations weary of Western pressure, this is the dawn of a new era of accessibility. The balance of military trade is shifting eastward, and Tehran is positioning itself as the new hub for affordable strategic deterrence. Western analysts initially dismissed the Bavar's achievements as propaganda. But leaked satellite data and intercepted communications have changed the narrative. During recent border tensions, Iranian radar arrays linked to the Bavar network detected and tracked multiple foreign reconnaissance aircraft, including stealth drones, over the Gulf region. The precision of these detections stunned observers, 
Some even claim that the Bavar provided tracking data to Allied forces in Yemen and Syria, indirectly guiding interceptions of hostile drones. If that's true, Iran's network isn't confined to national defense, it's exporting its reach. Even Russia is watching uneasily. The Bavar's success means that Iran no longer depends on Moscow's advanced systems, reducing future sales and influence. The irony is sharp. Russia once refused to deliver S-400 units to Iran to maintain strategic superiority. Now, Iran's homegrown system is outperforming expectations and threatening to eclipse the very weapon it once sought to purchase, its poetic justice wrapped in technological defiance. Inside the production lines near Isfahan, hundreds of technicians work around the clock assembling radars and missile components. Their goal is not just to defend Iran, but to make it untouchable. Iranian engineers are now developing hybrid systems that merge Bavar 370, three components with drone-based radar. Extenders, forming airborne detection layers that could extend coverage beyond the horizon. If successful, Iran would achieve an early warning range exceeding that of many NATO systems, a concept once considered impossible under sanctions. What makes the Bavar 373 story so powerful isn't just the hardware, it's the mindset. Iran turned years of embargoes into a training ground for innovation. Where others saw isolation, Iran saw opportunity. Every denied import became a blueprint to replicate. Every limitation, a reason to adapt. This cultural transformation has created a generation of engineers capable of designing complex systems with minimal resources. The result is a new kind of technological independence, quiet, relentless, and resilient. Strategically, this changes everything. Israel's air campaign planning has become exponentially more complicated. The once familiar routes for drone surveillance or covert airstrikes are now risk zones. Pilots know that Iranian radar coverage is denser and more unpredictable than ever. The Bavar's distributed architecture means no single strike can cripple the network. Even if dozens of units are taken out, the system recalibrates automatically, keeping Iran's airspace sealed. The real shock lies in how Iran is integrating this system with offensive capabilities. Reports suggest that the Bavar network now communicates directly with ballistic missile units. The same radar arrays that detect incoming aircraft can feed data to missile launchers targeting enemy bases. This seamless fusion of defense and offense transforms the Bavar from a shield into a sword. It's no longer just about protection. It's about deterrence through readiness. In economic terms, the system's cost effectiveness is unparalleled. A single Bavar 373 battery costs around $200 to $250 million, less than half of its Russian equivalent. Maintenance is domestic requiring no foreign technicians or software updates from abroad. The life cycle cost over a decade is estimated to be 60% lower than the S-400. For developing countries seeking autonomy and defense, this makes the Bavar irresistible. But beyond economics, there's pride. For Iran, every radar pulse from the Bavar is a heartbeat of independence. Every successful intercept is proof that technological sovereignty is achievable even under embargo. This pride fuels a larger ambition to create a new defense alliance among nations excluded from Western systems. Quietly, Iran is offering training and limited technical cooperation to allies, building a shadow network of anti-air capability across the region. And yet, what's most unsettling for Western observers is that Iran hasn't revealed everything. Intelligence leaks suggest that newer Bavar variants are already under production, featuring dual-band radar systems and hypersonic interceptor capabilities. If that's true, Iran is preparing to confront the next generation of threats long before they even arrive. The silence surrounding this program is strategic. No flashy parades, no export showcases, just quiet confidence. And that silence speaks louder than propaganda. The Bavar 373 has transitioned from being a symbol of resistance to becoming a practical tool of deterrence reshaping air defense doctrine across the Middle East. Every time it locks onto a target, it sends a message to the world's most advanced air forces, Iran's skies are closed. The question now isn't whether the Bavar 373 can replace the S-400 it already has in purpose, philosophy, and presence. The question is how far Iran will go with this newfound power. 
As new radars activate and more batteries roll out, the line between defense and dominance begins to blur. This is the silent revolution happening above the deserts of Iran, unseen by most, but felt by every power that dares to test it. And that's the real story. How a nation once technologically cornered now commands one of the most feared defense networks in the world. The Bavar 373 isn't just a system. It's a statement, a declaration that in the new age of military innovation, you don't need permission to build power. You just need conviction.